Here comes the bride, all dressed in... Something you've probably seen on Pinterest. The photo sharing website has become a must-have tool for brides-to-be. Outfits for the flower girls. Beautiful. 34-year-old Nicola Barber, a voiceover artist, and her fiancé, Brian D'Alessandro, a researcher by day, rocker by night, wanted to plan a wedding that reflected their unique personalities and the life they've built in New York. We like the idea of having a cravat. Um, I'm British, so we like the idea of having a morning coat. Mm -hmm. I kind of wanted, like, British rock star. A few years ago, brides like Nicola were stuck doing this, ripping pages out of wedding magazines and sticking them up on boards or putting them in a folder to bring to a wedding planner. Now users create virtual inspiration boards. For brides, it's a game changer. I have a bunch, uh, a huge pile of tear outs from magazines in the office that I don't even look at because it's just so complicated. Here, everything's organized into categories and I'm a very organized person. So I like to be able to see it. She would take all the million choices, narrow it down to 10, put it all together and you know, with the colors, it's nice to be able to see everything side by side. While wedding posts are hugely popular on Pinterest, early investor Rick Heitzman says growth is exploding in many areas. Pinterest pulls together a lot of interests around these passion topics, whether it be vacations or weddings or anything. It's not algorithmic based, but it's human based. So you have people that you have more of a kind of tangible contact with than you would necessarily a Google algorithm. According to Nielsen, Pinterest reached the 10 million user mark faster than any standalone site in history. Mobile app user growth, a key measure for investors, is up well over 1,000 percent. I think you're going to see a growth path and a value path similar to a Facebook or Twitter. Though only three years old, Pinterest trademark red pins are all over the web. The company doesn't advertise or make any money off posts, but many believe it's just a matter of time. <laughs> Nicola and Brian use Pinterest for their shoes, clothes, flowers, even the honeymoon. The only thing they didn't need to pin, the entertainment. I love you. Maggie Lake, CNN, New York.